With PSS Syncal, Siemens PTI offers a comprehensive high-end analysis software solution for all of your power system planning needs. The unbalanced power system model which it provides is suitable for high, medium, and low voltage grids. Trust in PSS Syncal for a complete range of modules covering the design, modeling, and analysis of electrical as well as pipe networks. In this PSS Syncal tutorial, we'll be demonstrating the main features and benefits of using PDMS, or Protection Device Management System. As the installed base of digital protection relays increases, the amount of settings data to be managed also rapidly rises. In dispersed organizations, protection settings, those of previous versions, those presently in the field, and those undergoing testing for approval often need to be handled by multiple users, possibly across differing departments. Centralized data management promotes the reduction of handling errors and allows data to be integrated into internal workflows, thereby increasing efficiency. This is where PDMS comes in. A universal data management system offered by PSS, it features multi-user functionality and interfaces to the PSS SyncCal Protection Simulation Platform and operation control software of device manufacturers. Here in the device browser, all existing devices and device templates are shown. Multiple devices can be opened in individual tabs. Devices in PDMS are designed to store all the protection settings of the protection device in the field, plus previous versions of settings data to establish new setting values in the design and validation phase. General data of protection devices can be seen in the heading section. Each device can be opened in configuration or data mode. Configuration defines a structure for the settings data and data contains the actual setting values. This allows protection settings to be broken down into user-defined subsections of settings and makes it easier to manage a large number of settings by grouping setting values that belong together. This can be seen in each protection function in a digital protection relay with multiple protection functions. Click inside to see the individual setting fields. The configuration defines the type of data and the valid setting range. The valid setting range is then automatically applied in checking the validity of setting values. Switch into data mode to see the current setting values. To simplify the creation of new devices, PDMS provides the template concept. Templates can be created to reflect the data structure of existing relays and used to store default settings such as those seen in a commonly occurring application of a relay in your network. New devices can then be created as copies of templates under New Device, Copy from Template. Choose the template you'd like to copy from from the list of existing templates. Choose the methods to be copied, as well as the setting group. The user management for the multi-user database can be configured under Extra, Options, User Administration. Here the accounts for each user can be defined. A password can be set for logging on from each account. To facilitate the internal workflow, PDMS user management allows users to be assigned a role, which defines access rights such as read-only. Users are also assigned a permission to approve specific steps of the workflow. This allows data to be stored centrally and makes it available to multiple users across the organization, while maintaining limited access. In Extended Data, PDMS provides a central solution for the uploading and sharing of protection device-related documents, such as device manuals, test reports, and other internal documents. For the simple data exchange with device parameterization software, such as Digsy for the Siemens Supertech family of devices, PDMS provides import and export functionality. In the case of Dixie, import and export of whole XML files, setting values only, 
or updates to existing XML files are all possible. We will now upload a new XML as a device. XML files can be imported as a new template. The new device, Device 4, has now been created, reflecting the structure and data contained in the XML. Devices in PDMS can be connected to devices in the PSS SYNCEL network model. Data exchange between the two systems can then be automated. In this SYNCEL network, an overcurrent protection device of the type 7SJ631 is already modeled. Under Master Resource, a global unique ID can now be generated for this element. This GUID will be used to uniquely reference this device. To make changes, first unlock the device. This prevents conflicts in the multi-user database. In the basic data of the device in PDMS, the GUID can now be entered in the MRID field. The two devices are now connected at the device level. Not all setting values for the digital relay will be needed to configure the SYNCAL device, which is modeled as a generic protection device. The setting values which are to be exchanged will need to be specified. This is done in configuration mode. Predefined keys can be entered to specify setting fields in the SYNCAL protection device, thus forming the connection at a setting fields level. At the SYNCAL device, an import of settings from PDMS can be started at the device by Import and Export, Import Settings from PDMS. Data exchange between the two systems is done only through an import functionality to avoid erroneously overwriting data in another system. The PDMS database needs to be specified. A mapping file for the selection values between the two systems needs to be provided. Select the corresponding PDMS data groups, then select Finish. Setting values have been successfully imported. All the features of the PSS SYNCAL platform are now available for verification, documentation, and protection coordination tasks. If changes have been made to the settings, these can be re imported into PDMS under Import. Settings from SYNCAL. If the settings are for a new operating state, they can be stored in Group B. At any time, it is possible to compare setting values with other versions or even across groups. The settings which have changed are highlighted in gray. All protection setting values have a status. The ability of designated users to change the status of protection settings is how PDMS can be integrated into an organization's internal workflow. Once the planning phase is complete and the settings have been tested, they can be set to approved, as can be seen in this example. PDMS document setting information, such as date changes and by which user, facilitate the backtracking of workflow steps, especially across dispersed organizations. Now it is possible to export the approved settings in the form of a Dixie XML file for configuration of the device in the field. As a professional data management system, PDMS is the best way to centralize important protection settings data, which might otherwise be spread out and repeated across your organization. With its multi-user capability and integrated features to support your internal workflows, PDMS can greatly improve efficiency and reduce human error. This has been a demonstration of the PSS SYNCAL PDMS module. If you're interested in further details, feel free to explore our website or contact us directly.